Last we saw Kanoko, she had dove into a vat of acid as a desperate last-minute escape attempt, and now we will rejoin that particular story in progress. No waveform readings detected for over 48 hours. Given the magnitude of the last readings, we're confident the host was destroyed in the acid. Continue scanning. But Commander... Yes, sir. answers and I want them now. I'm sorry. I can't help you now. No one can. This is a ridiculous game, and that is the most ridiculous part of it. Moving on, we've got a bit of information on the repairs to the TCTF HQ in the wake of the Syndicate assault. The substations are running again, which brings the security systems back online. That and the parking garage is entirely sealed. Now, what's really interesting is if you'll look at our ammo indicator in the lower left corner, you'll notice that the bullet Kanoko used to shatter the glass ceiling was not a plot bullet. It actually started us off with one round fired off, which was a somewhat impressive show of their attention to detail. The architecture is going to be very, very familiar. We're actually pushing our way through the previous TCTF HQ level, but in reverse. So we can expect to see quite a lot of TCTF agents and SWAT as we make our way down to the terror below the building. Despite being the exact same map, this mission takes much longer. We have no allies this time around and the enemies are a shade tougher. Now you don't usually see me deactivating lasers, and honestly these lasers are probably some of the easiest to jump over, but I figured I'd at least show you that there are consoles for doing such a thing. Several of the previous missions have had them as well, but they're usually located in places you wouldn't normally need to access. Kanoko, please, don't hurt me. They made me do it, I swear. Do what? I knew she was more than an android, to you at least. What did you do? Griffin wanted something to use against you. Get out of my sight, now! That's rather nondescriptly ominous. Now we certainly don't need to go to the exterior here, but that console before mentioned patrols in place due to the security systems in Griffin's office not working. They spent too much time getting that giant, insane elevator operational. So why should this matter? Well, the particular security patrol just so happens to be carrying my favorite weapon, the Mercury Bow. And if we're not careful, we can knock him right off the edge and lose it. Oh, with that done, we're ready to start our descent. Just got to go back inside. Oh, doesn't he just look lost? Speaking of which, I think I'm headed in the wrong direction. Kanoko! What's happened to you? None of your business. Give me the hypos in the force field. You are one of us. Griffin treated you like a daughter. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ashamed of myself? Griffin made me a monster when I was seven years old and imprisoned the only man brave enough to try and protect me. I'm here to settle the score and nobody is going to stand in my way. Now hand them over. All right, take them. This guy has some serious balls to reprimand Kanoko. Hell, even Griffin had an escape shoot before he did so. Meanwhile, speaking of Commander Griffin, he has relocated to Security Bunker Omega, whatever the hell that means. 
This Captain D. Juiced is pretty on the ball, but he's literally the only one in the building that is. This fellow usually has dumb things to say, but he must have been hit in the crossfire. Hey. Why is he uh. going? The Syndicate is able to build these security systems by knocking out the power substations. So there you have it, we need to follow the Syndicate's example and knock out the power substations to get to Griffin. There are three of them. There's always three of them. Well, it looks like the TCTF was doing some research with Shinatama's corpse. It's creepy. They confirmed a previous theory that SLDs share a bond with pattern donors. Despite being an android, Shinatama was falsifying reports to show a lower deodin latency than Kanoko was actually experiencing. It also suggests that Kanoko has almost entirely been replaced by the deodin chrysalis, making her extremely dangerous. But we already knew that last bit. You should be ashamed of yourself after all Griffin has done for you. Ashamed of myself? I'm doing all this to pay him back. Now hand them over. All right, take them. Why am I not murdering these scientists? They're all jerks. Almost every random corner of this mission has another TCTF agent, you never know when they're going to come around to bite you in the ass, so it's a good plan just to check all of the rooms. Like this one, for example. This is one of the stranger circumstances in the map. We do see a few other uniform police, but this is the only area where we see several of them at the same time. They aren't very strong, but their numbers make them somewhat dangerous. Well, we're on the ground floor now, which means after we've taken down the cadre of agents in the main room, we can move on to the next area. And up here we can see the after effects of my dumping so many of them off the ledges earlier.
I refuse to deactivate this substation. You have no right to do this. Very brave of you. I bet they'll put a medal in your casket. Oh, fine. I'll let you in. It doesn't make any difference. They'll get you eventually. You can't escape the TCTF. I'm really starting to think we aren't playing this game as the hero. Well, there's the first substation, which means we have two more to go. This entire wing of the headquarters is just a prolonged gauntlet against TCTF agents without much to remark upon. Punch, kill, move down, and then repeat. Now, if we hadn't picked up a mercury bow at the start of this mission, that phase projector would come in rather handy now. We've picked up a lot of energy ammo, so the fact that it starts nearly empty wouldn't matter much. However, since I did grab a super weapon, we'll leave it right where it dropped. Two substations down, leaving us with one left to go. Something about this particular level. Okonoko, I'm so sorry. I didn't want to be part of this trap. Huh, wonder how I missed those two large men completely coated in black against a white background. Hide and seek champions, clearly. With the substations deactivated, the lasers go as well, and we're able to head out.
Now, there is a screaming cannon back here, but I almost feel bad using it on the police. That gun is serious nightmare fuel. I'm unarmed! This is all I'm carrying, I swear! Liar. I, I won't try Don't anything, I, I swear! Oh. Now what are you doing hiding back here? Just trying to hide. Now if we hadn't deactivated the substations, there would have been a solid wall of lasers there topped by a mercury bow turret. Seriously bad news all around. Oh. Well, Commander Griffin asked for some sort of system integrating an android in the Omega Security Vault where he's hiding. That's dangerous sounding. Looks like the easiest way to break it is to enter conflicting input to the assembled control module. So, you know, gibberish. Please, I surrender. Take my weapon. This'll come in handy. Why are you doing this? Maybe you should ask your boss, but don't expect him to tell you the truth. <laughs> you can tell he's a non-combatant because he tried to defend himself with a scram cannon. <laughs> Now beyond those doors in the room to our left is the parking garage that we entered from in the previous TCTF map. This would suggest that we are getting much closer to the basement where the Omega Security Vault is located. And despite my misgivings about using the screaming cells, the TCTF SWAT clearly have no such qualms because they are jerks. Oh. <sighs> 
Of course. That's the first time I've seen an armed enemy go for a different type of gun. Curious. Well, there's two out of three, at least. Empty rooms everywhere. Now this right here is probably the best console on the game. Here we see a letter from the TCTF comptroller to Captain Juiced in regards to not having enough money for security upgrades due to the incredible expense of Commander Griffin's full office personal escape elevator. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. You can't escape me. You saw to that. You're a failed experiment. Calculated risk, nothing more. I made sure that I would be ready for this day from the very beginning. Shinatama was in constant contact with you through every stage of your development. No one knows you better. I have wired her to the control system of this assault pod. You haven't got a chance. You never did. All systems armed and active. Shinatama. No. I'm sorry. Okay, I take what I said before back. That is terrifying. Good god, why did he leave the school uniform bow on it? Ugh. So, anyway, what we have here is an advanced version of the deadly brain fight from the first mission. We've got lasers everywhere, and pretty soon we're going to see what we're up against if you breach those lasers. For this first phase, however, I've got cat-like reflexes such that I am able to completely avoid the beams. I'm sorry. So sorry. Yep, see that vertical laser? There is no way to avoid it at the start of this phase. You will set it off, which triggers four separate turrets that can hit anywhere in the room, and a screaming cell cannon at the center. 
The starting area is the best place to do a little dance to avoid it all, and then we'll move on. Meanwhile, Commander Griffin watches nervously, realizing his escape elevator only has enough juice to work in one direction. Okay, well now the game is just laughing at me. It's certainly possible to avoid hitting any of the beams, but it's damn difficult. Sometimes it can be easier just to blitzkrieg the consoles, as this is the last phase. Especially if you have health or force shield left. Well, that's that. It's time to get this done as fast as possible. Emergency override, Griffin Alpha Zero. Emergency override. No, no, stay back. Oh, gotcha. This is a bad idea. Put the gun down. I'm a rogue agent, haven't you heard? Very dangerous. I'm exactly what you wanted me to be. So, how does this end? For you? Badly. That's your call. You can pull the trigger or you can walk away. It's up to you. So the game gives us the option. Should we kill Griffin? No. Kanoko's done enough senseless killing on her own. I won't be the monster you thought I would be. Just remember what I am. The woman you betrayed because you weren't big enough to take responsibility for your own actions. <laughs> 